Hey, welcome into the round pen with Spider here. I believe this is ride number 11 or 12, something like that. And I have introduced spurs to him. I did it a couple of days ago, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how I do that. And it was not a was not an event for him he didn't seem to have any issue with it at all but this is a good thing to double check before you ride a horse with spurs so i just took my spur off and reached back here to where my foot would be and kind of touched him with them and then i asked him to move i kind of pushed him and like i say i've done this a couple days now so he's kind of gotten a little better about understanding what it means a little bit <laughs> okay so i did it there then I did it up here, like position one. Ask him to move that shoulder over, push and release, push and release. And he he did not overreact to these at all when I did this. And I tapped him up here. I wanna make sure that he's just okay with it, okay? If your horse, if you do this and your horse jumps 10 feet sideways, you might wanna back off and, and do some more getting your horse you know, used to this kind of stuff before you introduce spurs because the last thing you want is for that horse to get real jumpy and scared just because you touch him with a spur, all right? Um, and he's handling it pretty well, so I'm gonna get on him here and show you what I'm working on. So we've already warmed him up. My intern, Delaney, took him out on the cowboy steps and lunged him around for five or 10 minutes. He's warmed up. At this stage in his development, he needs to get to where he can handle pressure. And I didn't put a whole lot of pressure on him in the beginning because, you know, his history is such that I didn't know what he knew and what he could take and all that kind of stuff. But he's shown me that he's a real good-minded horse. He just doesn't get upset about stuff. So he needs to be able to take some pressure and not, you know, get too upset about it. So. These are the kind of things I've been doing. Let's yield the hindquarters here, and I'm putting the spur on him pretty good because he didn't move them to my satisfaction. Let me yield the hindquarters the other way. Want his head to bend. Okay, let's trot him off. So I asked him to trot, and he didn't go, but I kicked him a little, and he did. So at this point, I'm going to start, and I've done this, uh, I think I did it yesterday. So he should be kind of familiar with this. I'm gonna start kind of picking up on the pressure here. I'll bring him into the fence. Ooh. Ask him to move that shoulder. I'm touching him with the spur on his left shoulder and he's not responding. Right there, trot out of that, good. He needs to be able to take it. I'm moving my legs quite a bit, okay? And he's actually doing pretty nice. He's bending into the, the turn, which was something, he was pretty stiff there for a while, but it's getting a lot better. Come over here, Ooh. back him up a step, move that shoulder, which he didn't do. He kicked his butt around instead, so that wasn't very good, but he's not being grumpy about it. He just didn't do it very well. Okay, let's see what kind of a left hand. So I'm, so see, he's shouldering out pretty bad there. And now that I have a spur, I can kind of push back a little, but he still doesn't quite understand, so I can't just, I mean, could, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to just poke, poke, poke here with my right leg. But I am going to put a little bit of pressure on him and ask him to give me that shoulder, which he did right there. I don't know if you could see it. Sometimes stuff's hard to see on a video. I feel it. Uh, there he didn't trot off as nicely. So I'm going to try that left-hand circle again. That's a little better. And I'm going to do, let the fence help me. Turn left right here. Okay. So he just, he's still shouldering out pretty bad on this left hand turn. And that's just, it's kind of a habit he has. He, he certainly didn't develop it since he came here. And it'll take a while to get him over it. But we will. I mean, he'll get over it because he's just a, he's a good minded horse. You can see he's taking all of this. I come in here. Ooh. Ask him to back up. Ask him to move that shoulder a little. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be a little more insistent here about this shoulder, because he's not. Let me see what we can get here. There, a little bit better. A little bit better. A little bit better. I did this yesterday. Right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, you know, that's pretty ugly, but you gotta start somewhere. Ooh. 
A little better stop. He's a lot better turning to the right than he is turning to the left. Good. Back up. Over. That's a little better. So this is the kind of stuff I'm working on here. And uh, actually, when I finish here in a minute, I'm going to take him over to the arena. And uh, we'll just do a lot of trotting around the arena today. Just let him trot for 10 or 15 minutes and just stretch out a little bit. This is such a nice horse. I really like him. Really like his attitude. Ooh. Ask him to back up. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Good boy, Spider. Good job, buddy.